Welcome back folks and friends to a bit more Farming Simulator 2013. In the dead of the night, we're going to be delivering our 251 eggs that we've amassed, which should give us quite a bit of money, so the shop where we need to deliver it to is somewhere around here. Don't tell me we're stuck. These houses just look so out of place if you ask me. They just look really weird in this area in general. But let's go ahead and deliver it over here. We're at 58200 Nice. Easy $5,000. Almost $6,000 to be exact. So, I went ahead and did some other things. Uh, not too much, but there is a Dutes, uh, debts, however you want to pronounce it, sale. So I went ahead and bought the corn header for our harvester. Uh, so that's going to be quite decent as well as... Actually, that's all I did. So let's just bring both of those things back. Our tractor and this. Thank you. What are you guys doing? Oh, okay. That's the sheep. Okay. I see. That's where the cows are. Okay, <laughs> there's so many vehicles over here. I'm just wondering what the hell. Now we have this guy, which we haven't been doing missions for quite a while, but they're not really too necessary. So what I'm going to be doing is we've done both the uh, canola and barley fields, and we still have a bit of barley in the trailer. Uh, but what I want to do is go back to the shop, and we'll go ahead and buy this, the Amazon EDX 6000, which is the largest sower for maize. Unfortunately, you don't have anything that's bigger for maize, which is very, very sad. Like, I'm not exactly sure why. They just spam us with all these other normal seed uh, seeders. But when it comes to doing maize or potatoes or sugar beets, the largest working with we've got is six meters, which is very unfortunate. So, we're going to have to go ahead and buy it. Thankfully, we've got more than enough money. So, let's go back to this menu, bring it back to our homestead. Okay, oh, you're done. Let's lift you up. It's going to grow. Oh, we should be playing at 120 times speed. There we go. And it'll grow back really quickly. Watch this. It should be... There should be another little pallet very soon. There we go. It's amazing how much money you can make from sheep. Well, we don't really have that money. Many. It's only about 150. And they only need grass as well. But this is the hardest bit. Putting it onto the trailer. Try to balance it all out. There we go. And we've got to try to reverse it out. It's beautiful. That worked out well. So, what are you doing? Wow. That's not good. I remember leaving you like that. Many of you guys didn't like the way that I was uh, talking about politics in my video, but I was looking at the guys that were saying that you guys are probably, well, you were new subscribers, most of you guys. So, if you go back to my channel, You'd see that I do a lot of political games in my channel. It's just not... Maybe you guys didn't expect it with Farming Simulator and all that. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. See, this is the problem. I'm not sure if this cultivates or not now. It should. Uh, let's go ahead and try. But, yeah, I do have played many a political game, like uh, The Political Machine 2012, which, if you guys get offended by my comments, then I wouldn't recommend watching that game. Just, just saying. <laughs> it's a pretty much a parody of the American political system. Uh, and, yeah. And that's all my channel, so I guess most of you guys are new and didn't, don't really know all that. Right, let's go ahead and try this. No, you're not doing what I want you to do. Let's read the description. No, not you, you. Damn, that sucks. Okay. That's really unfortunate. So that means we're going to have to get the cultivator wherever it is. I've got no idea where it actually is. Is it back there? No, I don't think so. Wait, did I sell like all my cultivators? Maybe I did. Let's go and check. Oh, there we go, there it is. It's along this alleyway. Damn, that's unfortunate. What I could do is attach the uh, cultivator to the front and then the sow at the back. But, no. Because they're both not 6 meters as well, so the cultivator will be overlapping the previous sowed crop. So that's no good. That's no good at all. So, we're going to have to do this the hard way. We're going to have to cultivate first. We're playing at 120 times speed though, so we can cultivate at 120 times speed. That doesn't really matter. Let's start from this side. 
Oh yeah, so now we'll go ahead and try this today to move the trees out of the way. I just got to remember to make sure I save it and back up my save as well onto a different uh, area, my desktop or something. Okay, that'll work out nicely. What else is happening? Let's go back to the sheep because I'm sure they're going to be done pretty soon. Is there any great demand or price or anything? No, there's no, no such thing currently. So we're going to be doing it tough for the time being. Let's just get this ready. Yeah, and I've got done like games like Tropico. So uh, this is a very political type of channel in terms of the games that I play. Wait, what did I just do that for? Ooh, actually, I wonder if we can place it back. That would be interesting to know. Go statistics. All right, we can. Okay, so it hasn't recognized that we've actually lifted it off, which is good. There's so many dumb people. It's amazing. <laughs> I was reading some tweets. See, this is like there's a story in Australia that went pretty big of all these little kids or teenage adolescents, whatever you want to say, uh, saying that if Obama wins, they're moving to Australia. I don't think they really understand that we have an atheist female prime minister. We have socialized healthcare. We're we're pretty much one of the highest nations uh, in terms of atheists and non-believers and all that and everyone knows that America is a Christian nation because no political leader can, get, can even get off without uh, saying God bless America in his speech. So we've got all these hail hate so I do want to get a bail up but we've only got eight thousand dollars. You're doing your own thing which is good. So how about I go ahead and Get one of my tractors. Get this guy. Yep. Beautiful. You can start sewing. What else is there? Ah, okay. There's our other tip up. This sewer also seems like it weighs a lot less than the other one. In that one it seems like we'll be able to manage just fine uh, yes I want corn or oh, sugar beets no we want corn because we don't really have the means to harvest sugar beets yet and well off you go uh, so you do this, this at about nine miles an hour actually you know what because this cedar actually said in the description if we go ahead and check it can sew at 10 to 15 kilometers an hour. It has a high operational speed of 10 to 15 kilometers. Oh, which is now in nine miles, sorry. Okay. So that's going at nine miles. How much is the cultivator going at? Eight to nine. Okay, so that guy will be catching up, but very slowly. Shouldn't take us that long. And if we look at this, look at the fields. There's a supposedly a fair amount that is uh, withered away, but it doesn't really seem. It seems like there's only a little patch that's withered away. Kind of weird how it shows up on the map. Let's have a look at close look at this cedar. Wait, does this fertilize? Or was that already fertilized? That's a good question. Let's have a look. No, I think it was already fertilized. See, the weird thing is, I don't have any um, seeds in here, but I think the worker should automatically just do his own thing. Because he's automatically changing texture to ground after him, so I think it should be all good. Ah, oh, damn it, we're playing at 120 times speed as well. I've got to remember that. No. All right, we'll just have this little area that grows a lot quicker. Ah, oh, that's the problem with sewing. Now everything's going to take us so long. All right, so what I could do is go ahead and move you out of the way. Even though it would be a while before I even use this field for anything. 
I'll give you guys a 45 minute episode or so. How's that sound? So get some more stuff. Okay, I think that's going to be 100%. It should be. At least it looks like it. Yep. So let's do this. Okay, that's no good. Hey, there. We go. Unfortunately, the wool's going to go a lot slower now. Because we aren't playing at those super fast speeds. And this shouldn't be too bad. We're dropping this off on the close side, so. Start dropping it off. We'll have to drive a bit more to the left. There we go. I don't want to start pushing. There we go. Yes. Success. The relief I have when I do this successfully, it's so good. Howdy. Oh. Accidentally pressed the console commands button. You guys are going hard at it. Let's go to our harvester now. Drop that. So there is a like specific mobile machine which you can attack to attach to your trailer with your headers or attach a specific trailer for headers. But isn't that pretty pointless? You can just drive around with your harvester with the headers already mounted on. I guess if you want to make it a little bit more realistic you can do that, but still. Yeah, so at least we get to see the density for corn. Don't tell me I bought the wrong... There we go. It does fit on. I just need to get the angle right. Oh. There we go. Jeez, it's like a medieval death machine. So let's just get ready. Hopefully our guys are doing quite well. All that information down there. Static picture though, obviously. What do you expect? Let's just hide over here. I'm not going to be selling this. You guys can just stay there. You, well, you'll be getting some stuff soon, hopefully. I just want a great demand, but we're not playing at a fast pace. That is the problem. Okay, we're about halfway done through this field. And this is the largest cultivator as well. Um, do I have another tractor which I could make use of? Not really. Like this guy, he's just going to be standing here for quite a while, so maybe I could use him. Um, how are we for grass with the <laughs> sheep? Still a lot. 11,000. Okay. That's good. Well, there's not much to do then, is there? Apart from maybe getting a fertilizer and just spraying all of this. Hmm. Not much to do, is there? Uh, how about I go ahead and... Well, what I'm thinking about is moving the trailer with all the... Well, get some canola and drop that off to make it a little bit of money so we can start buying and selling more stuff. But, I'm not going to do that. Because this tractor just takes too long with that trailer. So, I think there's not much else to do, just cultivate the rest of this field and then keep on sowing. At least we're about, yeah, we're over halfway done now. Definitely over halfway. And from what I can see, this actual sower doesn't leave any of those ridiculous areas. Those little triangular areas, which is nice. 
I think it's that's also got a lot to do with the tractors, though. This is a pretty good tractor. It doesn't leave much. It is definitely a good seller. So finally we get to see what corn looks like in the game. Let's go get this so ready. I mean harvester, sorry. Wait, how about we turn it on? How do you fold it? Oh right, you can fold it like this. Ah, good memories. Yes, radio. Um so what we want to do is turn it on. There we go. And Okay, so it's already on, so we can just drive our way into glory, I think. And canola is pretty much like every other crop you can't harvest it early. And then, anyway, this is the first stage, so it's not, there's, not like there's going to be much there to uh, harvest, if you were able to. Um, now, we're just pointlessly tabbing away, aren't we? I'm tempted to press speed up because... Yeah, you know what, let's just speed the time up. Or should we? This makes it so hard for us. You're almost done. You're doing quite well. You're ready for us. Alright, well. So you look at how slow the uh, wool actually grows when you play at normal speed. It's just crazy how slow it is. Let's have a quick look at more of this stuff. The Amazon Condor. That would be a brilliant machine if it also had the ability to sow some corn, maize, or sugar beets and potatoes. For 15 meters worth as well, that is so good. I think I'm going to have to start looking for a mod which is a lot larger that can sow some maize. That would be really handy. Okay, well, yeah, I can't really fertilize even if I'd wanted to because this guy is still doing the same thing. So I think I'll speed things up once we're done cultivating. Because the seeding, we can, well, the harvest will be ready in sections anyway, but we can manage. At least it won't be as blotchy because it's one massive field, so there'll still be large sections for us to ha harvest with it. And I wouldn't be too surprised if there's a really good yield with corn because it doesn't really sell for that much and it seems like it's a pretty useful crop to have. I hate how he misses just those little areas. He stops before he gets to the very end. So he still leaves that canola or whatever it is that's withered away for ages and ages. Okay, you're doing well. So I could put on... Oh, you know what I could do? Let's go ahead and check the sprayers. Maybe even better yet, not sprayers. Let's go back to statistics. We've already hit 57 chicken eggs, really. Um, but what I want to do is go to... Yup, cows. And liquid manure is called slurry. So what we need is a slurry machine. So that's a manure spreader, and this just spreads like hard manure, like real poo. But slurry is liquid manure. This costs $75,000, and it seems like it's got a large width, because these things seem like it's a wide type of thing, like it spreads out. So that would be nice to invest in, instead of having to use our fertilizer that we currently have. We've got two more rows and you're onto your la okay. How about we go back to you? Actually I think you might have to make no I think one turn trip will be good enough. I'm just wondering, is there anything you can do with uh, spare barley? Like the barley that gets left behind? I'm sure that well there has to be some that you can deal with it if there's something left behind. I'd assume at least anyway. Okay, so you're still going. 
which is good. So coin's probably not the best thing to be investing in. Let's speed up time. I'm sick and tired of waiting around. And from what I've noticed, pretty much every crop grows and it has the same growth speed. Which is kind of weird because you'd expect, say, barley and canola and all those crops to grow at different rates. They all grow at the exact same time. So what I sometimes do when well when I'm not recording is I seed both both of these fields at the same time at normal speed, real time. And then I come back and uh, speed things up. And they all grow at the same time. Even if they're two different, completely two different crops on both fields. Let's have a look inside and then turn around. Oh no, what did I press? I must have pressed something not good. No, no, stop, stop. What the hell did I press? This? Look, he kept on driving. He just, that, he just stopped working. There we go. That's all good. Now we'll go ahead and pick up that fertilizer, work on this cornfield, which will only take a couple of goes at it, about three goes. Thank you. I think that should be enough, just it barely enough to go ahead and fertilize this field though. Or we'll be pushing it. This is a really large field. Yeah, it'll be just more than enough, to be honest. I was just about to say, why isn't nothing growing? But see, this is a, a nice amount to harvest. Wait, the fertilizer like disappeared. Oh wait, no it didn't. It's still there. That little last line. Oh. It's all as well. Because we left a bit of uh, section last harvest. We missed out a little bit to sow. So the heat area still remained fertilized. But yeah, there's a massive amount of corn, so we should have a good amount of it. At least that's what I'd hope so. We've got lots of grass for the cows, which is also very good. The corn looks quite uh, big once it grows out, and that's only the second stage. And we did the whole field with 30% fertilizer to spare. Okay, so you're doing your own thing. Let's... no? Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and sow this field, probably with some barley. Yeah, we'll go with barley.
Oh, come on. Okay, and we've already got barley selected, which is great news. Let's see if we could be able to get around this tree. Oh, just. Oh, well, it looks like we'll be missing a fair bit. Hopefully the AI goes left instead of right. Oh. Not much I can do about that now. We're playing at an extremely fast pace, so maybe I should slow things down. Just a little bit until we sow both fields. Okay, we've almost got all our wool. It's at 80%. You're going to be taking your sweet time to go ahead and do all this build, but thankfully we don't need to cultivate it as well. So it shouldn't be too long. You know what? We'll be back with another episode, but both builds will be all sown and they'll be fully grown and ready for us to harvest. So until then, guys, we'll see you later. Hopefully, there'll be another episode after this one. And thanks for watching.